Hi guys, John here. And Jack. Welcome back to another fabulous day out here at the island. This is the third and final video of Project 286. We hope you've enjoyed the previous videos. The first part of the video is about the build itself and uh, how we finalized everything. Yeah, and that is as usual, exactly. the usual uh, setup. Yep, and then straight after that, we're gonna tell you what happened with the project. Stay tuned. Right now the prop is way too close to the... Yeah, can't have it like that, we need to move it back. We can use one less spacer, I think that's fine, because I seem to remember I did that before. Yeah. Um, it's also gonna move in an extra... So just that in itself is like an extra eight. Yeah. But we need, you know, a bunch more margin. Yeah. Um, so the question is if, if we move, because the 12 mil that this was, Yeah. we can put these on the other side here. Yeah. Um, but then we've got to cut this motor mount down. <laughs> uh, it's, again. Let's have a look here. That moves in that far. It's more than this. So the way we're connecting these connectors that come from the battery, um, it's obviously really important that they are connected properly. So we're using these M6 bolts uh, and we thread them through the positive and negative terminals, like so. We thread them all the way through and then we actually tighten these so they just sit properly. There we go, crank them. When we've pulled them through and tightened them, uh, we actually shorten these off just a bit with a grinder, just so they don't stick out too far. We don't want excess metal hanging around. When we've done that, we take our leads and push them through, like so. And then we just get locks nuts on the back of it. Um, and then we put heat shrink, this really fat stuff, and pull it all the way up over the connector, uh, which you can see here. And that gives us, you know, this really, really nice connection and it makes sure that nothing uh, should ever move and or short or any, any bull crap like that. We don't want that happening. So uh, that's how we're making these beefy ass connectors. Finally finished with the ESC box. I'll say I'm very happy with the cable management there. You can see the phase cables running out the middle there, and the bus cables there, of course. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean this up, connect all the data cables. You can see the solution for the phase cables here. Connectors are all in place. Uh, and after that, we are gonna put it in the boat. And right now, we are putting the batteries in place. Um, Made a couple of brackets to hold them, and getting some rubber underneath them so they don't move around brackets. Yeah, and these um, are going to be attached with straps, correct? So you can take them in right. and out as needed? If needed. Yeah. Hi guys, John here again, and I'm back with uh, the world's largest electric airboat uh, in the making. 
I don't have Jack with me today, so uh, I'm just doing a little update as I go along. So what I've done today is I've basically gone and picked up from where Jack and I were and started fixing everything uh, totally in place. So we've got uh, batteries um, both worked out here and we've got the control panels uh, down here and everything's connected. I'm just gonna neaten up the uh, wires along the bottom there, strap the battery in. The battery at the rear here had its given its given place. It sits very neatly at the back here. We're hoping the weight distribution between the, the front battery over there and the back battery uh, will be really good. Uh, we believe so. We've got a box uh, with a bunch of electronics in it, which we've mounted here and bolted it so it uh, doesn't shake around and loosen up. The power coming up to the motor is then via these uh, cables. So we've got uh, two sets of phase wires coming up to the two separate motors and uh, it's looking pretty neat and tidy. So uh, as for that, uh, I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to get started on getting the propeller ready and uh, as said, just cable tying up the, uh, the battery cables. Everything's looking pretty neat and tidy. Let's have a one last look at this stuff here. The communication cable, we've got a charger, discharge, everything's cable tied. There's a charger sitting down here, stuck to the, cha the chassis. A couple of control panels here with um, the displays. Uh, there's one, there's the other one. A bunch of uh, charging going into this, into this system. So we generally use a fast charger, which uh, does about 20 amps, so it really cranks it out. Thus, we're using the uh, European uh, 16 amp times three, uh, the three phase uh, cable for that. So we'll actually be using two phases for the charging. So these batteries will then get a charge from, uh, if you're gonna charge from say 10% up to 90%, which is a uh, general sort of a scenario, you probably would get about um, two hours worth of um, charging so um yeah very very interesting very quick update here um we're actually up and running so you can see we've got both the uh, systems on we're running all the um electronics had the box open uh, a few uh, small problems there and um we've been through the programming now and we seem to have well, both motors running in tandem and running relatively smoothly together uh, so this is what they sound like <laughs> Plenty of beef there. We're going to uh, get the propeller on now and uh, just see where things are at. And uh, I think after that, we'll put a, uh, a guard on the front here and uh, probably take it out, roll it out onto the grass and just give it a bit of a test run and see where we're at. Okay, we're back. Yep, it is now mid-May. Um, the project was finished early February, and you might be wondering, wh wh where's the footage? Where <laughs> where's the fast airboat? Where yeah. did it go? Where's, where's the part where we crash it? Uh, <laughs> and burn things. Yeah, well, well sim simply put, uh, we don't have any. Um, no. And there's a very simple explanation for that, and that is that... Um, we finished we, the project. Yeah, we, we had some tough family situations. We had a passing in the family. I had to go home up north 
to finish some other work that I had on my plate. And uh, what ended up happening was I left with, took all the camera gear with yeah, me. Yeah, I pretty much finished off the the project, yeah. like the last bits of it the and ammo. the build. Uh, Gave the keys to the owner yeah. and took a mobile phone footage of him leaving. Yeah, and that was the end that of that. That was uh, pretty much where we ended up. We did uh, want to film, but as you can see, we yeah. just didn't get that far. It didn't happen. Now, uh, we have already talked to the owner and asked if we can go, come back there and film. And as he soon as has we can. Uh, uh, kindly agreed to that. It's just that right now, he doesn't have the possibility. We don't have the possibility. So, yeah, right now... Uh, yeah. We don't have anything, but we promise that as soon as we get the chance to do a video on it, we will. You're going to see kind those of, uh, things jumping and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crashing, burning, it feels going bit, fast. feels a bit funny. We're going to be reviewing our own project, project after the fact, pretty Which much. Which is probably pretty good because, I mean, if you actually look at it, um, it's going to be inter interesting yeah. to see uh, what it's like. Yeah. Um, well, well, I mean, we know what it's like because the owner has told us, and that is that it goes like a but out of hell. Yep. Uh, now, I mean, I mean, the reasoning um, behind the, uh, the the bat out of hell kind of thing. What do we got there? I mean, we had this huge motor. We started out with this huge motor. You saw it in the first video. Yeah. 160 kilowatts of copper and metal. And, yeah. And <laughs> we were. We were. It was a bit of fun. Yeah. We were flexing all the specs. So that motor is capable of 160 kilowatts peak. Yeah. Uh, Which 80? is 80. 80 continuous. Continuous. And we're actually running 44. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, we're, there's a lot of headroom there. Yeah, we're running about half of the continuous power that is available in the motor. And that was pretty much only because um, that is, our, yeah. our, our battery packs, really. Um, the owner only has 750 metres between the mainland and his island. Yeah. So there's no need to have you know a huge range. No. And if you're you using a small battery pack, you're not going to get a lot of power out of it. No. Uh, basically, the owner said... You know, he doesn't want a heavy boat uh, to lug around, really. Um, you know, he doesn't want too much weight. Uh, he wants the battery pack to be removable. Uh, and so we simply used two of our kit batteries. Yep. They are 4.8 kilowatt hours each, uh, but they will only <laughs> do, uh, in this configuration, 200 amps each. Yeah, and you put those together, so you get your 400 amps. We're running around about 100, 110 volts, so you get yep. about a 44 kilowatt out of that. Yeah. Now, you might be saying, well, that's false advertising. You said you'd be putting this massive motor at full power. Well, we, we never said that. Uh, <laughs> but but the, the thing with the 44 kilowatts is that that is about, around about 60 horsepower. And from we, what we can figure out um, of what was left of that of, of the, the old motor. Tax, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we looked at uh, it. Yeah. yeah. It, that was running uh, around 45? 45. Yeah. Yep. So we added uh, another 10, 15 horsepower to the Somewhere build there. anyway. And I mean, for what you saw from the test video there, it shook the cage properly. It goes, goes good, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's got plenty of power anyway. Yeah. With the ESCs are um, probably the thing in the system that have the most headroom. Yep. Um, Easily. And uh, I mean, there's uh, double system, so dual system. So two ESCs capable of 1,000 amps each. Yep. Um, they are the ESCs that are coming to our website eventually you will be able to buy them you'll be able to buy the batteries and you can buy the motor right now by emailing us yes um the uh propellers yeah that's an interesting one isn't it yeah um, we had um we a had... six bladed so two times three bladed propellers yeah Did... that's what you saw in the video yep did a uh, a great job, but we also had on the side. We never said anything about this. Actually, no. we had a five bladed carbon propeller, an adjustable and, one. Yeah, an adjustable one. Yeah, so you could adjust the pitch on that one, and uh, we sent that up to the owner and uh, dropped it off with him. He did some testing, and he said, "I think I'll hang on to that one." Yeah. He so. has, as said, he's crossing a channel where these really big freight boats go through. There's yeah. some really big blocks of ice and some very challenging conditions out there. Yeah. And so um, we are thinking that he can see that these conditions are more suited to the pitched propeller. Yeah. So it's going to be really interesting to hear. Yeah, because, I mean, that, that also means that he can test, you know, does he want more low end or more top end? From what I, from the, what I heard, I think think he said that it feels like the boat has got too much top end right now it's too fast yeah. and he wants more low end push so i think that he's going to pitch that propeller um yeah 
and give it a Big lot time. more low end torque. Yeah. So that's pretty much what happened with the uh, with the project to date. Um, as said, we're going to uh, get in touch with uh, the owner again and uh, get out there and film these things. Yeah. But we are dying to go film it. <laughs> I think we're probably going to do it after the summer because we got some other projects coming up. If we can change the subject, is that okay to that do? That is okay to do. Uh, because maybe... we got some really fun projects coming up. Yeah, exactly. We should say thank you for sticking around for Project Two Eight Six. We hope you enjoyed. It. We hope that you subscribe and stick around. Uh, until we get more footage of it and uh, this summer we have a uh, plan for a project that doesn't involve an airboat but a normal boat we're gonna blow some stuff out of the water yeah hopefully so uh, yeah please like subscribe share the video to someone you think would enjoy it and uh, join us on more of our electric adventures see you guys later goodbye bye Oi, so we're gonna um, tell them about the motor that we're gonna give away in the next video. Oh, when we, yeah, nah, we should do that next video, I think. All right, but we can, um, oh, we should, yeah, I mean, we could have told them in this video. Nah, we've already shot it. All right, well, I mean, if, it, yeah. Yeah, let's do that next video. Do that next video, yeah. okay, cool. cool.